Hello student, today we will introduce a new topic of quantum mechanics. In this topic, basically we will cover the origin of the quantum mechanics and also discuss what is the de Broglie wavelength. First we will start the introduction of the quantum mechanics. Here I have written the nature of the light is divided into three parts which is based on totally the element of the history. The first discovered the nature of the light as a particle nature. Newton 1675 introduced the particle nature of the light and he proposed the corpuscular theory. According to the corpuscular theory, the, the light con consists of a stream of teeny, lighter and perpelastic particle. He explained the law of reflection, the law of refraction and also the propagation of the light in a vacuum. But few drawback of Kaposky theory, first one known as according to the Kaposky theory, light is traveling in a denser medium have a more velocity as compared to the rare medium. And second one is the according to Kaposky theory, the velocity of the light is depending on the temperature. Both, both statement experimentally was not true. And Newton could not explain the phenomena of interference and diffraction also. Now, the nature of the wave of the light first proposed by the Huygens in 1678. According to the Huygens theory, he explained the law of reflection, the law of refraction and double reflection. And also he explained that velocity of the light in a denser medium is lesser than compared to the real medium. Huygens theory is predict the interference and diffraction, but he could not give a strong evidence regarding this. But he failed to explain the velocity of light is traveling in a vacuum and also the exactly nature of the light like a longitudinal or a transfer wave. Young's in 1883, he given a strong evidence of interference and also explain the neutral ring and color of the light due to the thin flame. And Fessnel in 1815 also explained the diffraction of the light on the basis of the wave theory. But Mollus discovered the polarization of the light in 1808. The wave theory assumed that all the waves behave as a longitudinal wave. But we can't explain the polarization of the light on the basis of longitudinal wave because it is a property of the transfer wave. Okay. Now, the velocity of the light is measured by the Fuju in 1849 is around 3.1458 into power 8 meters per second. And the, turn, the last one is the nature the nature of the light as a electromagnetic wave is first discovered by the Maxwell in 1873. According to the Maxwell, calculate the velocity of the electromagnetic wave is around 3.107 into by 8 meter per second. And Maxwell argued that the two values, this one and this one, cannot be accidentally equal. And he proposed the behavior of the light as an electromagnetic wave, but still few experiment was not explained that time. One is known as a black body radiation, other is known as a photoelectric effect. The black body radiation, the black body is first defined by the Kirchhoff in 1816, according to the Kirchhoff, the black body is a perfectly absorber and perfectly emitter also. And 
the spectrum of the black body is explained by the Max Planck in 1900. The Max Planck predict the correct expression for black body radiation and he assumed that light is emitting or absorbed in a small energy packet which is known as a quanta rather than as a continuous energy. Okay. The photolytic effect is first observed by the Hertz in 1887, but Hertz could not explain the satisfactory result of the photolytic effect. Now, Einstein, now Einstein provides a simply explanation with the help of Planck and further he assumed that light is not only absorbed or emit in a quanta but also traveling in the form of the quanta and Einstein in 19, 1905 he explained the photoelectric effect results and 1923 Compton professor Compton he proposed the quantum effect which also explained by the particle nature of the light the question that at this stage the some experiment is support to the particle nature of the light and some experiment supported to the wave nature of the light. Now question is that has the strong ended at or is the light particle or a wave? Now de Broglie come into the picture in 1924 he suggested that light is not a particle not a wave but both it means that light behave as a dual nature of the light dual character and also propose he is claiming that all the particles not just light all the particle has a wave like nature it means that dual character of the matter he proposed that dual character of the matter okay and he proposed that the particle also have a wave like property this was confirmed by the experiment also and now he suggested that the matter wave. What is the matter wave? The wave associated with a matter particle is known as a matter wave. Now in this way, De Broglie explained the confusion of light. He suggested that it is a dual character of the light. Now we can summarize all the experiment like that Now we can summarize our, uh, our previously, previously discussion like that here light is mean to property when interaction of interaction of light with light and interaction of radiation with matter when the interaction of the light with light is known as a wave behavior and interaction of radiation with a matter is known as a particle behavior
behavior. And the example of the experiment here is interference diffraction and polarization. Yes, son. And here the example of black body radiation photoelectric effect and Compton effect. All this assessment can be explained by the wave theory and electromagnetic theory. And here all the experiment can be explained by can be explained by the small pocket small pocket of energy energy is known as is known as quanta quanta or photon photon a small the small pocket of energy is known as a quanta can be explained of this experiment now what is the de broglie what is the de broglie concept of matter d broglie concept of matter wave what is the de broglie concept of the matter wave according to the de broglie concept a moving particle always has wave associated with it and the motion of the particle and the motion of the particle is guided by that that wave in in similar manner as photon is controlled by wave and he proposed the relation between wavelength and momentum of the particle like that lambda is equal to h upon a p where h is Planck constant and p is momentum of the particle and lambda is de Broglie wavelength wavelength and we can write that this relation is like that h upon a m into v where m is mass of moving particle and v is velocity of the particle Now all of you know that the realistic total energy of the particle we can write that p square c square m dot square c paper 4. Now here m naught is equal to rest mass 
ऑफ पार्टिकल एंड सी इज वेलोसिटी ऑफ द लाइट व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन द रेस्ट मास एंड मूवी मास ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट एम इज कल टू एम नॉट अंडर रूट वन माइनस बी स्क्वायर स्क्वायर सी के स्क्वायर वेयर बी इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल एंड सी इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द लाइट एंड एम नॉट ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट रेस्ट मास एंड एम इज द मास ऑफ द मूविंग पार्टिकल इट मीन दैट हियर एम इज द मास ऑफ द मूविंग पार्टिकल तो वी कैन राइट वी कैन राइट दैट दिस रिलेशन लैमडा एच अपॉन एम नॉट वी डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस बी के स्क्वायर सी के स्क्वायर वी कैन राइट दैट एच अपॉन एम नॉट गामा वी वी आर गामा स्कल टू वन अपॉन ए बी बी के स्क्वायर सी के स्क्वायर यस सपोज दैट इज क्वेश्चन वन दिस इज क्वेश्चन टू ना इक्वेशन वन इज अप्लीकेबल वेन ब्रॉसिटी ऑफ द ब्रॉसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज मच मच स्मॉलर देन ब्रॉसिटी ऑफ द लाइट ना इन दिस केस गामा इज कल टू वन एंड एम इज कल टू एम नॉट एंड नाउ वेन बी इज एक्सप्रोसिमेटली इक्वल टू दिटी ऑफ द लाइट ना इन दिस केस वी विल यूज दिस फॉर्मूला अदरवाइज वी विल यूज दिस फॉर्मूला वेन द ब्रॉसिटी ऑफ द पार्ट पार्टिकल इज मच मच स्मॉलर देन दिटी ऑफ द लाइट ओके ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट द रिस्ट मास ऑफ द फोटोन इज जीरो If you can write that e is equal to p into c, and also all of you know that energy of the photon is h into mu into p into c, and all of you know that c upon lambda is equal to p into c. We can cancel out. We will write and write that lambda is equal to h upon e p. We can write the relation from this equation. Okay, I will stop here, and next video lecture we will discuss. the what is different between the matter wave and atomic wave and also we will discuss the use of the de broglie wavelength in different form thank you